The Jack Benny Program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike. Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. For Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, richer tasting, fine tobacco. Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike, Lucky Strike. This is Don Wilson, friends. Have you smoked a fresh cigarette lately? You have if you've smoked a Lucky. Because the American Tobacco Company, the makers of Lucky Strike, know how vitally important freshness is to the taste of a cigarette. That's why every day in manufacturing plants where Luckies are made, hundreds of packs of Luckies are carefully tested for the tightness of their cellophane seal. So you'll get Lucky's better taste in all its natural freshness. Yes, smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste. And the fact of the matter is, Luckies taste better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. There are two things that account for this better taste. First, fine tobacco. Fine, naturally mild, good tasting tobacco goes into Lucky Strike. Then, Luckies are made better. Made round, firm, fully packed to draw freely and smoke evenly. So, for a better tasting, fresher tasting cigarette, light up a Lucky. You'll agree, smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste. And the fact of the matter is, Luckies taste better. Be happy. Go lucky with a carton of Lucky Strike. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike. From Palm Springs, California, the Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly, Don Wilson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to yesterday morning and visit the employment office of one of Palm Springs' leading department stores. Uh, now, looking at your record, Mr. Blank, I see that you've worked in our Los Angeles store for seven years. Uh, that's right, sir. And just why did you want to transfer from our Los Angeles store to our Palm Springs store? For my health, sir. Oh, I see. Uh, your doctor thought the sunshine and fresh air would be good for you? Not my doctor, my psychiatrist. <laughs> well, uh, tell me, Mr. Blank, just what was it that caused you to go to the psychiatrist? A customer that kept coming into the store every year, just before Christmas. Uh, a customer? Yeah. He first came into the store in 1946. He was a kindly-looking, blue-eyed old gentleman. <laughs> he bought a Christmas present, and then six times during the day he came back tested me and exchanged it for a different model. Well, what was the gift he kept exchanging? Shoelaces. <laughs> he bought shoelaces for a Christmas present? Yeah, for someone named Don. Well, now, how could he possibly exchange shoelaces six times? Well, first he bought the laces with metal tips. Then he came back because he thought plastic tips looked more modern. Soon he was back again. He was afraid the plastic tips might crack. So we went back to metal tips. Then he got to thinking the metal tips might rust. So he came back to change them to plastic tips. Six times he changed his mind. Plastic tips, metal tips, plastic tips, metal tips, plastic tips, metal tips. <laughs> Sir, control yourself. Stop screaming. People will think that you just saw the Palm Springs prices. <laughs> Why, I'm sorry, sir. But then, every year since then... This man has been back buying gifts for Don and exchanging them. One year it was a wallet. Once it was cufflinks. Well, what did he buy this Don last Christmas? A gopher trap. <laughs> a gopher trap? Uh, well, tell me, Mr. Blank, do you feel that you're well enough now to go back to work? Oh, yes, yes. The, the psychiatrist gave me some pills, which I always carry with me. I, I take one whenever I start to get excited. Well, that's good. Now, I'm going to assign you to the date department. The date department? Yes. There you'll meet mostly tourists from the East who wish to send some of these delicious dates back home. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, you better get to work, Mr. Blank. The store has been open for half an hour already. Yes, sir. You know, Jack, 
I must admit this is a good idea of yours, doing your Christmas shopping here in Palm Springs. Well, sure, Mary. After all, this is a branch of the Los Angeles store, and they have everything here. Now, let's see my shopping list. You have to get a load of gifts. Now, what'll I get for my secretary, Jeanette? Oh, you ought to get her something nice. You like her, don't you? Uh-huh. She's very pretty, and she's got a wonderful figure. I'm lucky to have a secretary like her. Well, why don't you get her a game of Scrabble? No, no, she can't spell. <laughs> she can't take shorthand, either. I may have to let her go if she doesn't learn how to type soon. <laughs> She's a wonderful secretary. Now, let's see. Uh, Jack, uh, have you thought about your sister Florence? Yes, quite often. Now, let's see. <laughs> I mean, how about getting her a gift? Oh, I'll get her something. Now, let's see. Gee, I don't know what to get my sponsor. Oh, how about a nice fountain pen? Hey, that's a good idea, Mary. I'll meet you back here later. Okay. I wonder what department I can get fountain pens. Where's the floor walker? I'll ask him. Oh, mister? Mister? Yeah! <laughs> mm, look, I want to buy some gifts. Gifts, huh? You're probably buying them for business associates and relatives. That's right. How did you know? I didn't think you had any friends. <laughs> Look, that's none of your business. Now, I want to buy a fountain pen. Does this store have any? Yes, we have ballpoints, regulars, and the new Palm Springs pen. A Palm Springs pen? Yes, you fill it with suntan oil and write love letters in the sand. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll find a place myself. <laughs> Silly floor walker. I think I can get the pens on the next floor, then. Well, I got the fountain pen for my sponsor. Now I got to get something for Hickey Marks, my producer, and Bert Scott. And... Oh, Jack, Jack. Oh, there you are, Mary. Well, what took you so long? Did you get the present for your sponsor? Uh-huh, and I was just wondering what to get the two CBS telephone operators, Mabel Flapsaddle and Gertrude Gearshift. <laughs> Mary, what would you suggest for them? Well, I don't know, Jack. Uh, how much do you want to spend? I know, about $5 a piece. Well, why don't you get to meet your hundred Gillette blue blades? <laughs> no, Mary, I, I gave them that last year. <laughs> well, I'll think of something. Now, let's see, who else? Is... Hiya, bud. <laughs> huh? Long time, no see. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Mary, let's go. <laughs> Jack, wasn't that the... Yes, Mary, he's that racetrack tout, you know. Probably resting up here till Santa Anita open. <laughs> Come on, let's get away from him. Well, that takes care of practically everybody on my list except Don Wilson. He's always such a problem, you know. Wait a minute, Jack. Since we're all down here in Palm Springs, why don't you give him something in keeping with the resort? Like, uh, well, like a nice box of dates. <laughs> Mary, I think you've got it. You know, Don loves to eat. Come on, let's go to the date department. Uh, no, Jack, I've still got some of my own shopping to do. I'll meet you later at the sportswear department. Okay, I'll be there in about ten minutes. Now, let me see. Where's the date department? I better ask the floor walker. Oh, mister, mister. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> yes, look, can I get to the date department by going past the sporting goods section and taking the last aisle to the left? It just this once, but don't ever do it again. <laughs> Ah, here's where they sell the dates. Oh, clerk, clerk. Uh, yes, sir, what can I do? <laughs> what's, what's the matter, clerk? Uh, nothing, nothing. He doesn't recognize me. I'll be calm. 
What can he do to me in the date department? Uh, yes, sir, what can I do for you? Well, are these dates fresh? Oh, yes, sir, they're grown right here in Palm Springs under the most ideal conditions. What do you mean, ideal conditions? Well, these dates are kissed all day by the hot desert sun till three o'clock when it goes behind the mountain and then they're in nature's deep freeze. <laughs> Well, this box looks very nice. I'll take it, huh? But that's $1.65. Fine. I'd like it gift wrapped. I know, I know. <laughs> Put this card in with it, will you? Yeah, okay. Excuse me while I wrap it at that count over there. Gee, that wasn't bad at all. I didn't even have to take a single pill. <laughs> there, now to cut the ribbon. Here you are, mister. All wrapped for Christmas. Red and green ribbon and everything. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I hope Don likes these dates. Oh, I'm sure he will. Most everybody likes these plain dates better than the ones stuffed with nuts. <laughs> yes. You... You have dates stuffed with nuts? I have to tell him yet. Why didn't that psychiatrist teach me to keep my mouth shut? Look, let me see a box of the ones stuffed with nuts. Oh, mister, you wouldn't like them. He, he wouldn't like them. Nobody would like them. Believe me. Believe me. Oh, here they are, right here. Say, they do look delicious. But, mister... After all, Christmas only comes once a year. I may as well give down the best. I want this box with the stuffed dates. My pills. My pills. Where are my pills? Oh, here they are. Clark, those pills aren't going to do you any good. Why not? You're supposed to take them out of the bottle before swallowing them. <laughs> Maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe the glass will kill me. <laughs> Here, here's your card from the, from the plain dates. You keep it. Put it in the stuffed date box. Okay. Excuse me while I wrap it. Oh, Clark, Clark, hold it a minute. Now what? Uh... I just thought of something. That card is a printed one. It's too formal. I'm going to write something more personal. Okay, I fooled you this time. I didn't put the card in the package. What? Nothing, nothing. You write the card, I'll wrap the package. Okay. <laughs> well, let me see. Oh, yes, I'll write him a little poem. To Don, this Christmas I'm giving you something to chew, these delicious dates and nuts to you. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Okay, mister, here's your package. Thanks. That'll be $2.15. I thought it was $1.65. That was for the plain dates. Well, there aren't any more dates in this box, are there? No, but these are stuffed. Well, look, mister, I'm not going to pay 50 cents extra for a few nuts. But look, it's not the money. It's just that I don't want to be a sucker about these things. I want the plain one. <laughs> and you want them gift wrapped? Uh-huh. All right! But I'll be back and pick them up later. I got to meet someone in the sportswear department. Yeah, I don't want to keep Mary waiting, but I can't find the sportswear. Why, hello, Jack. Oh, hi, Bob. You doing your Christmas shopping, too, huh? Yeah, me and my piano player, Charlie Bagby, have been here all morning. Oh, Bagby's here, huh? He's not in Los Angeles? No, I brought him with me to Palm Springs. I felt that the change of gutters would do him some good. <laughs> I hope so. Where's Charlie now? Well, he sneaked away from me. I, I think he didn't want me to see what he's getting me for Christmas. And it's just as well because I wanted to do some shopping for the boys in the band. Oh, you're buying Charlie's gift now? No, I've got his already. But I am kind of stuck on what to get for Frank Remley. Well, look, Bob, that should be no problem. Why don't you get Frankie a cordial? You know, like a, like a bottle of Drambuie. Well, Jack, that's a nice gift, but not for Remley. You see, Drambuie, that's an after-dinner drink. So what? Well, Remley never quite lasts till after dinner. <laughs> I see what you mean. Say, I meant to ask you about, what are you getting your brother Bing for Christmas? Well, he just bought a boat, so I'm going to give him an Admiral refrigerator. Well, now, isn't that clever? So Bing bought a boat, huh? Yes, the lure lane. <laughs> oh, 
home. Are you shopping for the rest of your family here, too, Bob? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to the toy department to get something for my children. Hey, do you mind if I join you? I always get a kick out of the new toys they have for kids. Oh, no, come on, Jack. Here it is. It's right across the aisle. Hey, Jack. Jack, look at that set of electric trains. Isn't that terrific? Hey, that one there looks just like the Super Chief. Yeah, what a toy. And, Bob, isn't that the Sportsman Quartet standing there running him? It sure is. Hey, fellas, let Jack hear your train song. Choo-choo train took Juggin at the station. Choo-choo train conductor full of coin. Choo-choo train, you know our destination. Train leaving one quack. All aboard! Choo-choo train is going to Kentucky. Choo-choo train, in case you didn't guess. Choo-choo train will load up there with luckies. The Lucky Strike Express. Watch it come. Choo choo train, please hurry, time's a wasting. Clear the track for something we all like. Cartons of the smoke that's better tasting. Lucky strike. There are no loose ends and luckies to annoy. They will please your friends, each college girl and boy. And pressure smoother too, it's luckies you'll enjoy. Clean it through and through, first you tear them, then compare them. Choo-choo train is pulling in the station. Choo-choo train unloading happiness. Choo-choo train has reached its destination. Ride the happy go lucky strike. Hey fellas, that was real cute. Now I gotta run along. I'm supposed to meet Mary at the sportswear counter. Bob, do you know where it is? No, I'm sorry, I don't, Jack. Well, I'll find it myself. So long, fellas. Well, I can't find that sportswear department. I better ask the floor walker. Oh, mister, can you tell me where I can find... Well, if it isn't little boy lost again. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find the department myself. Oh, Jack, Jack. Right here, Mary. Did you get the dates for Don? Yes, Mary, I got them. I'll have to pick it up soon. It's being gift wrapped. A nice box of plain dates. Plain dates? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jack, why didn't you get the one stuffed with nuts? Don loves nuts. He does? Certainly. At his house, haven't you ever noticed what's in that big bowl on the coffee table? Yes, hams and turkeys. <laughs> Underneath, there's nuts. <laughs> okay, I'll go do it right now. Come on, we'll go together. Oh, no, Jack, I've still got some more gifts to buy. You can meet me at the sportswear counter. Okay. <laughs> oh, clerk, clerk. Huh? Oh, 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 here's your package, mister. All, all gift wrapped and everything. One, one box of plain dates, $1.65. Well, I'm sorry. See, I don't want those. I want the ones with the nuts in them. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mister, let me alone. I'm all out of pills. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And I want a box of stuffed dates gift wrapped immediately. Okay, okay, I'll do it. How can I avoid this guy? I tried everything. Uh, even getting myself transferred. I wonder if this store has a branch behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs> Look, look, I've got some other shopping to do. Now, you wrap those dates with nuts, and I'll be back later. I'm sure you will. Uh, let's 
see. Oh, yes, I remember where Mary said she'd meet me. See, she's not here. Guys, I still haven't gotten anything for my sister Florence. See, that's the lingerie department. Maybe I can find something there. Let's see, maybe she'd like this beautiful pair of silk pajamas. Yeah, that's what I'll get. Pajamas. Hey, Bud. <laughs> Bud. Huh? Come here a minute. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm buying a gift for my sister. What are you going to get? Pajamas. Uh-uh. <laughs> what? Get her a nightgown. A nightgown? Why? Nightgown is a sleeper. <laughs> well, well, so are pajamas. I know, but with pajamas, when they're off, the legs will fold. <laughs> Gee, I, I never thought of that. And when you make your selections, you gotta consider the string. The pajama string? Yeah. It's all right while it's going around the back stretch, but when it comes out in front, it ties up in a knot. <laughs> Gee, maybe you're right. Huh? Of course I'm right. Nightgown is a great show bet. <laughs> I see what you mean. Well, so long. So long, bud. <laughs> hey, wasted so much time, I'll have to buy Florence's present later. I better get over to the sporting goods department. Mary is probably waiting for me. <laughs> now, uh, tell me, miss, this fellow you're buying the present for, is he your uh, boyfriend? No, in fact, he's my boss. Oh, then you want to get him something nice. After all, he's responsible for your bread and butter. Only bread. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, tell me, miss, what kind of a man is your boss? Oh, nothing unusual about him. He's average height, average weight. How old is he? Well, he says he's around 39. Around 39, eh? Yeah, but I think it's the second time around. <laughs> Uh, maybe I... Mary! Mary! Oh, well, I'll be back later, mister. Here he comes now. That man coming down the aisle? Yes. I think it's his third time around. <laughs> oh, Mary! Mary, I've been looking all over oh, for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Anyway, I'm all done with my shopping, and I can help you with yours. Good, because I still have to get gifts for Dennis Day and Rochester and Bob Crosby... Then I'll be all... Well, Jack, Mary! Oh, hello, Don. Hello, Don. Doing, hi, hi. Doing your Christmas shopping, Don, huh? Yeah, just about finished, though. So are we. Say, Don, let me look at you. Gee, you look marvelous. What a wonderful tan. Yes, Don, you're really brown. How long you been in Palm Springs? Three days. Gee, how'd you get such a wonderful tan in three days? I haven't been able to find a room. <laughs> Don, besides being so tan, I've never seen you look so good. You've lost some weight, haven't you? Well, yes, quite a bit, Mary. The, uh, the doctor put me on a diet. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. You must be starving yourself. Huh? Oh, no, no, Jack. It's not a hard diet at all. I eat practically everything. I just have to cut out a few things like sugar, cream, butter, nuts, and pastry. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, no, no. Feel fine. Feel fine. Well, I gotta hurry and finish my shopping. So do we. So long, Mary. Goodbye, Jack. Come on, Jack. Let's go over to the counter where... Jack. Jack. 
What are you thinking about? Mary, didn't you hear what Don said about his diet? Yeah, so what? So what? I got him the dates with nuts. It's not only fattening, it's more expensive. <laughs> Mary, wait for me here. I'm going back and exchange them. <laughs> I'm going to get the playing time. Well, here's the date counter. Oh, clerk, clerk. Oh, uh, here you are, sir. All wrapped and ready to go. Gee, I'm, I'm sorry I put you to all this trouble. That's all right, mister. Here's your package. But, um, look at I want the plain ones now. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'll never make it. I'll never get to ten. Look, mister, control yourself. Control myself? This is the fourth time you've changed these dates. <laughs> Don't be so fresh. Just exchange the date. Not this time. Oh, no, not this time. I outsmarted you. I went to the sporting goods department and got this loaded gun. Mister, put that gun away. Cap, don't point it at your head. Suicide is a terrible thing. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> now look what you've done. You made me so nervous I missed. <laughs> Control yourself. I won't control myself. First you wanted the plain dates, then the ones with the nuts, then the ones with plastic tips, Look, then you wanted the dates stuffed with metal tips, then you wanted the trap to catch it to go for the line, then you wanted to go for the dates, the dates with nuts, then you wanted the nuts that ain't plain gophers, Look, then you wanted I the didn't gophers, want that gophers at all. then you wanted the shoelaces that had dates with gophers, mister, I didn't... shoelaces, gopher traps, Look, mister, I, don't... I can't stand it any longer, I can't, I can't, I can't, <laughs> Jack will be back in just a minute, but first, a word to cigarette smokers. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. For lucky strike means fine tobacco, richer tasting, fine tobacco. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky strike, lucky strike. This is Don Wilson, friends. You know, each time you light up a cigarette, isn't it the taste of that cigarette the thing you're really looking for? I'm sure it is, because smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste. And the fact of the matter is, Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Now there are two short, simple reasons why. First, as everyone knows, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Fine, naturally mild, good tasting tobacco. Better taste must start with fine tobacco. And then, Lucky's are actually made better made round and firm and fully packed to draw freely and smoke evenly to give you better taste. And here's a reminder. One gift that will really be appreciated at Christmas is the gay holiday carton of better tasting Luckies. That's right. Right now, Luckies come to you in bright, cheerful Christmas cartons created just for Lucky Strike by the famous designer Raymond Loy. It's the ideal way to say Merry Christmas to your family and friends. Yes, at Christmas time or any time, it's always good taste to give and to smoke. Better tasting Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky for Christmas gifts this year. Good night, everybody. We're a little late. <laughs> the Jack Benny program is written by Sam Perrin, Milk Joseph Burke, George Balzer, John Packerberry, Al Gordon, Al Goldman and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Mark. Be sure to hear The American Way with Horace Height or Lucky Strike every Thursday over this same station. Consult your newspaper for the time. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy Show over the CBS radio network.